You're a fine looking young man. Why are you wasting your time talking to an old girl like me? Because <laughs> I'm afraid of the young ones. They intimidate me. Uh, that's what I would try. I I'd go top skin. Top skin? <laughs> top I'm spin all day long. Never mind what I didn't say anything about skin. Yeah, no, definitely the spin. All right, let's toss it in. There it goes. Ooh, smells delicious. Now we just have to wait. Okay, let's just wait. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think my house is haunted. I found a ghost fish in my bed. Ew, slippery. Anyway, all right, welcome back, everybody. It's Friday the 5th. Friday, TGIF. Actually, in real life, it's only Wednesday, so I can't get too excited. But I can pretend. Let's check the weather. Tomorrow's going to be clear and sunny all day. Today is also clear and sunny, as far as I recall. Looks sunny outside. Spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Great. Just the way we like it. So let's get started. No mail today. Doggone dog is back. That's nice. Oh, hi, Wilson. Um, I am going to just get ready for the day. And then we're going to be on with it. So let me just get all this stuff squared away here, guys. I've got an awesome, fun plan for us today. The worst part about this farming thing, guys, is watering the crops. I absolutely deplore this nonsense. Sadly, it's a critical component of being a farmer. Keeping your crops watered and hydrated and eating and growing. You too, dog. And the dog, of course, as well. So give me a moment... As soon as I'm done here with the crops, we will be on our way. Okay, almost done. Let's grab the trash out of the crab pots. And one periwinkle. So I have a feeling we're only going to be able to get trash and periwinkles out of this little... Not even a pond, really. It's more like a puddle. And if that's the case, then I think I'm going to move these crab pots somewhere else. I mean... Periwinkles are nice and everything. Maybe I can make a periwinkle salad. Oh, speaking of salads, hey, guess what? I found out that uh, Leah likes salads. <laughs> she finally told me. <laughs> so now we can uh, we can buy our salad. Okay, that about does it, I think. Let's go ahead and toss this periwinkle in the bin for sale. And I do believe I'm just going to get rid of my rusty sword. You can't sell it, but you can certainly toss it in the trash. And now, my friends, I think we're ready to go. Whew. Okay, it's 10.20. My gosh, 10.30. Oh, boy. Running late. I want to head into town, check the calendar, see if there's any help-wanted signs. Um, then we'll get over to Clint's and get these geos processed. I'm going to buy... Oh, look at worms! Let me snatch, snatch up these worms first. Oh, it's another book. Awesome. Wow, look at my energy after just watering. <laughs> uh, lost book. Added to the library. Okay. Oh, hold up. We got a help-wanted sign here. Looking for a buddy to bring me a sunfish, says Sam. 90 gold on delivery, Sam would be thankful. Okay, well, that's not a lot. Maybe I can catch one. Sunfish, I'm pretty sure. Sunfish is a river fish, so maybe we can do a little fish in the river. Um, anyway, I was saying at Clint's I want to buy coal so I can make the preserves jar today. I need one more piece of coal. Just one. Oh, look, it's Lewis. Lewis, lovely garden you got there. Hey, uh, psst, by the way. Why do you think you left those shorts? Just give me any clues, man. Any clues at all. Hmm. I wonder if it's anyone's birthday today. I'd better check the calendar by Pierre's shop. Okay, right. Wink, wink. I'm keeping it on the down low. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard, but I have nowhere to, <laughs> nowhere to look. I have no ideas where to start. Uh, he doesn't want me to talk about it in public, so that's why he just got up and left. Makes sense. Okay, anyway, let's go over to Clint's. And hey, Clint, how are we doing, buddy? Let me just come back here and say, ch say hi. Get a little small talk. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Okay, good. Depressing, huh? Uh, I was about to say it. That's, that's great. Good. Anyway, process these geos for me, pal. Uh, oh, what's that then? Slate. Hey. Have we got slate before? I don't think so. And one piece of copper ore um hey buddy i'd hate to do this i know it's um i know that most self-respecting miners will go get their own coal and all but uh i can't find any so all i need is one piece one piece don't tell anyone okay all right clint we'll see you later i'll be the laughing stock of the town can't even get his own coal 
There we go. Oh, look, it's the kitty kitty witties. <laughs> and Penny, of course. Let's just see what's up with the slate. Looks like Gunther can tell us about it. We don't have it here. Yeah, great. All right, let's go give it to him. I'm just going to stop and say hi real quick. Hi, Penny. My mother used to drive the bus to Calico Desert, but the bus stopped working a few years ago. Mayor says there's not enough money in the town coffers or else he'd have it fixed. Oh, oh, the, des the bus. Yeah, I know where that bus is. Well, maybe I can make a donation to the town and they can get it fixed. I'll try. Miss Penny said I have to read this book before I go play. Yeah, Mrs. Penny, Miss Penny's right. You do what she says. She's the boss. Hey, Jazz. Do you like my bow? <laughs> I do. I love it. I was just about to say that. It's so cute. All right. Anyway, let's check that book. We've got two new books. Oh, tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten the crop growth. Fruit trees. Did I? Wait a minute. Did I already see that book? I've already seen that book. I think I did anyway. Oh, wait. What's this up here? Oh, this is new. How deep do the mines go? This question has been pondered by many Stardew Valley explorers over the years. The truth is, no one really knows. Or at least, they aren't telling anyone. Unfortunately, many of those who venture deep into the mines never return. I'm reading it like this because I think uh, Marlin wrote this. He's the guy with the uh, eye patch. However, there have been a few bold adventurers who have traveled deep into the mines and have resurfaced with interesting reports. Apparently, there are three distinct areas in the mine each with unique monsters and treasures. Some adventurers speak of gigantic underground lakes and strange creatures, but none of these claims have been proven. Marlin. Ah, cool. All right, well, that was interesting. I've never seen a book up here up there before. Hey, Gunther, I got something for you, Pally Wally. You're gonna love this, my friend. You are gonna love this. I'm gonna put it right over here by the green one, okay? Green and blue together. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. Uh, nothing for me today, huh? All right, well, I'll keep looking for more stuff. That's what he's going to tell me anyway if I say anything to him. All right, well, let's... Uh, oh, it's... Um, Caroline. <laughs> we forget the hair color. It's a fine-looking day. It sure is, Caroline. Hey, have a berry. This is absolute junk. I'm offended. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, let me give you something green. Hold on. Wow. I just insulted her. I have nothing with her. Nothing. No relationship whatsoever. She's probably at the bottom of the list. Look at this. I mean, she's down here with George and the Dwarf. <sighs> oh, wow. All right, we, we got to do something about that. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Caroline. I'll try to make it up to you. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. All right. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Well, that's very nice of you. It's, it's, it's great to help out the old folks. <gasps> wow. I'm glad she forgot about that salmon berry I just gave her. She got over it fast, didn't she? I'm glad she doesn't hold a grudge. Not like Haley. Oh, here comes Haley. Oh, oh. Haley! Hi! I wonder what Alex is doing today. Forget Alex. What about me? Huh? I didn't notice you standing there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to do your voice, Haley. Talk to me again. I want to do your voice. Put the sword down, man. What are you doing? Oh, gosh. I'm stuck. Oof. Jeez, I was in unguard mode the whole time. All right. I, I want to catch this river fish. The kids are out of the library with Miss Penny. Here we go. We got a hit. Please be a sunfish. I'd like to deliver you to Sam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy does it, little fella. All right. Stay right there. Nice and easy does it. What do we got here? A sunfish. Wow. That was fortuitous. And I'm going to eat some algae. Don't judge. And it's 3 p.m. Um, we got the sunfish. Let's go give it to Sam. But I might run by the beach real quick here and see if I can grab a shell or two. These things are expensive. Oh, hey, Elliot. How you doing, my friend? Punchwood? You look puzzled. I guess the hot summer air can make us a little dizzy. Is that some sort of an insult or something? How do you like berries? Come here. This item gives me a terrible feeling. I'll have to dispose of it. Good. I've got more where that came from. <laughs> oh, there's one of those blue shells. These things are worth big bucks. I'm going to snatch that up. Ah, clam. Somebody lives there. And three coral. Very nice. How about a quick cast into the ocean? I haven't fished in the ocean for a while. 
The ghost fish, by the way, can go in the community center in the uh, specialty fish bundle. So we're going to hang on to that. Man, I am exhausted. Fortunately, I caught some seaweed. <laughs> Alright, one more cast. Two seaweed, one piece of junk. And uh, two pieces of junk. Seriously? Was this a landfill at one point or something? Because all I get is trash. Finally! Let's catch a good ocean fish. Ooh, he's a tough one. We got him. We got him. Maybe perfect. Maybe perfect. Maybe perfect. Yes, indeed. Perfect. And it's a red mullet. Well, they'll sell pretty good, I think. Oh! Elliot, you're right in my... Excuse me! Yeah! You better move. It's about to toss him into the river without his cement shoes. Oh, here's Sam's house. We gotta get in before they close. Jody, don't slam the door in my face, please. Oh, thank you very much. Hi, Jody. The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. You know, Jody, it's expensive to eat healthy. It's it's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. You got a big family here. I get it. Um, any idea? Is Sam home? Where is that? Where is that Sam? That's Vincent's room. Even Vincent's not home yet. Uh, Sam's not around either. That's his room right there. Oh, the guitar and all. Uh, you know what? We might even be able to make friends with Sam. Oh, Penny! Oh, you just walked Jazz home, didn't you? That's so sweet of you. All right, well, have a nice night. We'll, we'll see you later. You know what I might do? Let's go buy a salad for Leah. Let's see if Sam's in the saloon. Oh, wow, everybody's here. Oh, look at Demetrius and Robin dancing over there. We got uh, Lewis and Marty having a drink together. Hey, guys. You can catch me at the saloon most nights, says Marty. Oh, that's nice. I don't mean to interrupt, but how you guys doing? Animal's a great company, but I need to spend time with people, too. You sure do. I, it's, you're spending your time with Lewis. Lewis, you dog. You dirty dog. So, I, maybe they're an item. Hello, Pam. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? You're a fine-looking young man. Why are you wasting your time talking to an old girl like me? Because <laughs> I'm afraid of the young ones. They intimidate me. Hey, uh, Gus, can we chat? I'd like to buy a salad. It's 220 gold. It's not for me. I, do I look like the type to eat salads? <laughs> I just grow vegetables and fruits. Hello, Pierre. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on Friday night. You sure do. Has anybody seen Sam? Is he in the game room? Oh, that's, that's Sam right there, right? Oh, I thought that was Alex. Hey, Sam. <sighs> not very good. Hey, you're doing fine. Keep it up. Hmm, if I give the cue ball a bit of a top spin, maybe I could... Uh, that's what I would try. I, I'd go top skin. Top skin? <laughs> top, top spin all day long. Never mind what... I didn't say anything about skin. Yeah, no, definitely the spin. But by the way, I got something for you. I have this. You asked for this, right? Hey, thanks a million, Bunchwood. I should have known you'd be the one to take this job. Of course I'm the one to take the job. I take all the fetching jobs. Remember, yeah, spin, top spin. There you go. All right, a whole 90, 90 bucks. Hey, he's just a teenager. He doesn't really have a job anyway. Oh, it's Abigail. I haven't talked to you in a long time, Abby. I kind of wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. Eh, sorry to hear that. I don't know what to give Abby. I don't think I have anything Abby wants right now, so I'm not even going to bother. But I can give my buddy Shane a berry. This is great, thanks. You bet you, pal. Hope you're doing well. Looking good. And there's Leah. I'm just going to make small talk. I'm not going to give her the salad today because I can't. Because I've already given Leah two gifts this week, so... Oh, hi, Leah! Fancy meeting you here. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Here we go! Changing this up. Let's rock and roll, baby! <laughs> it's our song! Horseradish song. You look radishing. I don't have a radish for you today, though, however. I hate to be blunt, but if we don't treat nature with respect, our grandchildren would be doomed. Ooh. Sounds serious. But I totally agree. Don't you think so? Yes, I just said so. By the way, I got something for you, but I'm saving it for another time, okay? Enjoy your drinks and your company. I gotta go. 10 o'clock. It's late. Let's get back. I'm so glad I stopped in at the saloon and said hi to everybody. That was great. You really do need to mingle once in a while, because if you, if you don't talk to someone in, in any given day, 
then their opinion of you drops. Very, very slightly, apparently, but it still does. Anywho, let's throw the mullet in here. Bloop. I'm saving the ghost fish for the bundle. Putting that awesome clam away. Look at that. It's a star. It's a golden star belly clam. We're hanging under that. All right, and now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let us go ahead and make our preserves jar. So there it is. We can do it. Turns vegetables into pickles and fruit into jam. Oh, I love that sound. New achievement. DIY. Do it yourself. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's put this stuff away. And let's figure out where we're going to put it. Let me pick that up. Oh, gosh, it's heavy. Urgh. How about right here in the corner? There, perfect. Now, talk to me. Oh, geez, I just kicked it. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> There's nothing in there. I have to throw stuff in there. Fruits and vegetables. So, the way this thing works is you throw a piece of fruit or, or a vegetable in there. And I'm going to go with the parsnip. And you get jelly or pickles out of it. Um, the actual item you throw in there only determines the base value of the pickles or the jelly. And all this is from the wiki. I don't really know for sure. But anyway, all right, let's toss it in. There it goes! <laughs> Ooh, smells delicious! Now we just have to wait. Okay, let's just wait. Anyway, I had to jump into bed real quick. I was exhausted. Uh, but we'll check back with the preserves jar in an episode or two. We'll see what happens there. So here endeth the fifth of summerith, year oneeth. We made 673 gold today, just scavenging. Not too shabby. And that's it. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.